Okay, uh, we are really excited to be with Jason from Sleaford Months. We are going to have a really great conversation. Uh, we, you have a uh, new music, releases album, and on all of that, thank you very much. We are from Latin America. Uh, we, we follow rock music too, punk, everything, and from our community of El Rock es Cultura, the rock is culture. Thank you okay. very much to be here. No, thank you. Thank you for having me on. And so right now you are uh, on, at night? What's the hour? Yes, it's, uh, it's evening. It's um, where, six o'clock. Six o'clock. Okay. Yeah. We are here at 1 p.m. Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. And, and, and uh, it's, is, it, is it warm over there? It's really hot right now. Oh. Like, oh. I'm like sweating right now. It's like, <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> is, it, is there winter? It's cold? How's that yeah, the weather? Freezing, yes. Totally cold, really cold. Oh, okay, okay. But in your house, you have like a warm. Oh, yeah, warm, yes. It's obviously very yeah. warm. Yeah. Now, he, actually, right now, I'm in, in Peru. I don't know if you, you know the place. In okay, okay. No, I've never been no, but yeah. Uh, and well, we, we, we are in Peru, Mexico, and, and, and a lot of these uh, countries. And right now, in Peru, it's really hard, and all of that. <laughs> oh. But uh, let's go directly from your new single. Okay. That, that's the, I, I was uh, listening to that. It's like, uh, for me, it's something really interesting to, to talk about the lyrics and the kind of music. It's for, uh, I am a musician too. Uh, and I can find that this is kind of different with a proposal that I don't find in other, uh, like, stream, pop, stream, rock, stream way. Uh -huh. uh, and Nugget It, what is this about, the, the, the new single? Uh, Nudge, it's about um, it's about bands that use uh, working class identity uh, to to um, to address their own music when they don't necessarily come from that background. Um, it's about being poverty tourists. It's about it's about using some of the <clears throat> creative breakthroughs that artists from a lower social group of, of used, of invented in order to dress their own music. It's, it's about also using imagery uh, from uh, that social group, from a working class landscape to dress their videos, to, um, to basically, you know, fill out the design of their look. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And 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 this this these lyrics has to be with, with well, I found one phrase that you uh, conceptualize the, the the band with, electronic month minimalist punk hop runs for the working class. It's kind of long, <laughs> <laughs> different. That's different too. I I really like it. And um, you use a lot of polit politics, society. Uh, Pop celebrity ideas around your your music, no, and lyrics in general. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> somebody else <clears throat> somebody else actually wrote that description of us, which yeah. um, <clears throat> you know, I mean, it kind of rings true in a certain to a certain degree. But we're essentially just like a pop band, really. You know, um, mm -hmm. it just so happens that we sound quite punky, and that, that was by accident. You know, we like we like a whole array of music. Uh, hip hop, grime, drill. Uh, do you know what I mean? Um, rock, pop, uh, electronica, trap music, anything really, as long as it's good. You know, and um, yeah. try and fuse all of these things. That's that's really interesting. And um, this this new album, it's your sixth album, right? As a band, uh -huh. well, yeah. that's amazing. And Thank you. you started. Uh, the release in January the 15th, just some days ago, like uh -huh. with everything, all in, the new year, new album, boom. Bang. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it really took off and people have really taken to it. It's been our best selling album to date. And um, it's, it's been our highest, highest chart placing in England uh, and across Europe. So we're really happy, you know. Yeah, yeah. And how was the, the process of, of composing all of this album? You, did, you, did you compose on, and record everything on the pandemic or before the pandemic and in yeah, the wild? We, no, we did, um, we did a bit in January last year. We did okay. a week's worth in January. And then we did two more weeks in July, um, 
when uh, when under the lockdown. So um, it was just business as usual, really. Me and Andrew work very quickly. Uh, we can work remotely or we can work together, uh, but it wasn't any different to how we normally do it. Do you know what I mean? But, but like, it was exactly the same process without the pandemic as other albums? Yeah, or? yeah, oh, yeah, wow. yeah, just the same, you know. Wow. So we just went into a studio when the when the government la allowed us to work together. Uh, we just went into the studio and we did it. We did the rest of the album in two weeks. Oh, that, that, that's cool. And and because w when I talk with another like musicians in, in different cities, they are like totally totally locked down. They even can't go to buy something. So it's like just the option of the streaming recording sure, sometimes, sure, but sometimes sure. you can't that do that, no? Because maybe it's not yeah. electronic or something. Yes. I yeah. think um, we were slightly more relaxed in some countries, mm -hmm. uh, which I don't know if, if, it, um, if, if that was for the best or not. I don't think so. Yeah. But, um, uh, but yeah, we were allowed to go in around July and work. Um, You know, large groups of people weren't allowed to socialize, but small groups up to about six were allowed to meet. Uh, but, you know, we were obviously allowed to get together because this is our job, you know. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it was it was pretty much business as usual. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Of course. I find uh, like you, it's, uh, correct me if, if I'm wrong, that like, you have a lot of things to say, mm. like, Like if, like if your mind it's like going kind of fast and trying uh -huh. to throw it all in the lyrics and, uh -huh. and, and, uh -huh. and those ideas. Like if you have to summarize your like your will or your your idea about society or what do you think? What could what would it be? It's just observations, you know. Observations. It's it's observations. It's um, it's. Uh, being a spectator to what is going on. And although we veer towards left-wing politics, we are, we're more of, uh, we, 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 you know, we're a humanist band. We believe in humanism, you know, of, mm -hmm. of, of the um, advancement of the human race. Uh, and I really don't think that uh, contemporary politics is the answer to that, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, of course, and and that um, that way of, of of trying to share your ideas through music, it's also one of the reasons that you have a new show, a new TV show. I think you, you're running a new show. I think in YouTube. Your oh, we, yeah, we did uh, we did the SMTV thing last week. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was really good. It was great. It, it went for an hour, and we it it took uh, it took you through the processes and the various various aspects of the, of spare ribs in the album you know yeah yeah that, that, that's that I, well that was really cool uh and really interesting actually like thank you thank you yeah and in with with this uh new album with all your music what are your expectations and plans to to move forwards like you know everything is, uh, is, uh, is still with the pandemic but you you do have any kind of plans to To share with um, we just uh, we just hope that it passes soon and we, we've got a UK tour booked for the end of the year mm. uh, we've got a European tour booked uh, for uh, just before that so we're hoping we'll be able to go out and do those tours um, apart from that I'm not sure what we're just gonna have to hold tight really you know um, yeah. I don't think there's any more I, I don't think there's any more um, Uh, plans to do a live stream um, so I think it's just a case of us holding tight until until the end of the year yeah yeah well that, that, that sounds cool you have like a a tour in UK you know that's the, the one of the of the activities that the, the band has uh -huh. yes so um, hopefully that will come hopefully that'll come together you know um, yeah. hopefully lockdown will be kind of over by I don't know I'm hoping Autumn at the latest, you know what I mean? Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> and, and, and from, and, and like before the pandemic, w w which is the, the festival that you miss the most? 
Um, and any of them, really. Uh, yeah. We really liked any shows, any festivals. We really, really liked them. You know, I mean, yeah. we preferred to play... UK festivals are great, but we found European festivals better. Um, but generally speaking, any gig is is was something that we really enjoyed, you know. Yeah, yeah, actually. Have you ever been on Latin America? As, 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 no, as, no, not yet. We, Ooh, um, that will be, we're hoping that that will be soon, you know. Yeah, of course. Like here, here uh, in our community that we are like, more than 10 million people follow, following us about God and all this. The, the, like, we, we received uh, messages about, about you guys. And, and so, like, just you to know that there's people around this part of the world. Like, we like to dance, but we also like to hear in, like, hip hop, rock, punk, and all of that, and electronic too. And well, yeah, here we have good festivals too, like Luda Palooza, sure. uh, Rock in Rio, uh, you know. Okay, oh, yeah, we'd love to do Rock in Rio. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Big time, yeah, definitely. But, you know, fingers crossed we'll be over soon, I think. Yeah, yeah, that, that would be really cute. And here, one of the of the differences or, like, our, I don't know, advantages is the rhythms on music that we have. Because, like, every country has different rhythms in Peru, in Mexico, and that I, I, I like the other day I discovered a band that is making the like, hip hop and trap, but with their culture rhythms, and it's really like, like really crazy and cool at the same time. No? I can okay. send you that music if you want in order to, to start yeah, discovering that. Yes, thank you. That would be brilliant. Yeah, and well, this this new um, album has something to do with your own influences, or it's just something that you just release as, as a new thing without any kind of influence before? Um, no, it was, um, it was influenced by the current situation, okay. uh, but also influenced by my childhood. And I was thinking a lot about being a kid again mm -hmm. over the pandemic, uh, you know, and um, it's influenced by the uh, ongoing um, annoyance that we have with bands that we just think aren't, aren't really doing it properly, you know. Mm -hmm. And so it's all those three things, really. Oh, okay. And, and about the, your music influences? Mm, music influence on this <clears throat> across the board. Yeah. Um, you know, grime, drill, uh, kind of, it's, it's hard one, really. Yeah. Um, techno, whatever, really. Whatever, yeah. whatever, 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 um, Packs a punch, you know what I mean? Of course, of course. And talking about that, 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 that like connection with the composition, like what's your way of composition? Do, do you just put a timer to, to okay, I, I want to start to compose, or it's just you're walking and boom, you have an idea and boom, and you just yeah, record it? It can change, it can go, it can be that, or it can be, you know, you sat down and you, you start to formulate an idea on paper or in your head. Um, it can be Uh, instantaneous, impulsive, uh, spontaneous, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it, it works either way, really. Yeah, of course, of course. And like, uh, in the part of the, of, of, of one of the questions that I have here that people send us in order to, to ask, um, there are a lot of people that they want to know the, the, the meaning of the name of the band. It's Sleaford. Um, uh, Sleaford is, um, it's a town Okay. Not too far away from where I was born. I was born in a town called Grantham, and Sleaford is another town about half an hour away from Grantham. Um, I've always been interest, interested in the mob culture, so I wanted to put something together that signified where I was from, but using Grantham mods instead of Sleaford mods didn't sound, didn't sound great, so I used Sleaford instead, you know. Yeah. I think at the same time, it's just quite random as well and quite confusing. It kind of doesn't mean anything. And at the same time, it means it means something, you know. Yeah. Um, and it was I think it's just as confusing as the music can be, I, I guess. And I wanted I wanted it to, to have the same feel, you know. Yeah. And, and like the, the same like try, um, kind of a strategy or concept do you do you use to name your songs? 
that the name of your songs is just what you feel it is or it's something yeah. related with the chorus because sometimes we put the chorus there sure, and... uh, yeah it, it, the songs we um are mainly i will use you know a word in the chorus as, as the title okay. you know uh and sometimes not you know yeah sometimes the title is completely separate to the, the to the song uh you know to the entire song you know what i mean yeah of course uh well I think I think like uh, we have just some two questions more in order to to keep going and and we all, we we would like to to ask like if you have to learn any kind of instrument that you don't know what would you choose piano piano oh uh, wow that's amazing amazing it's a beautiful uh, instrument beautiful have you ever tried before no no has to be like a long piano or because you can have like a a keyboard. You, know, you like, can have a little one, I guess. I don't know, really. A classic piano, I guess. That's, a, that's amazing. Yeah. And uh, if you have to, if you have to, like, uh, share any kind of feed or, or, or a concert with someone, but it, that it's not alive, who would you choose? Um, mm, yeah, that's quite interesting. Um, I don't know, actually. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's, it's kind of deep. <laughs> yeah, it's quite... Mm, I don't know. Otis Redding? <laughs> no, maybe, maybe, maybe later you can send me the, the answer. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, of okay. course, of course. Okay, no problem. <laughs> no, that's amazing. Uh, thank you very much, Jason. Uh, your music is, is really, like, cool. And I okay. invite everyone to be uh, part of this new album. Uh, it's, it's available on Spotify, right? Yes, they can yes, find you in, in, uh -huh. in Instagram, Facebook, everything. Uh, yeah, everywhere. So, yeah, have a look. It's on sale now. That's amazing. That's great. Thank you very much, Jason. Um, this was uh, El Rock Escultura. <laughs> Thank you. You take care. Uh, Jason, can I ask you just one favor in order just to, to present the, the interview? Just that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm Jason. We are in the El Rock Escultura. That's all. Uh, hello, my name is Jason Williamson from Sleaford Mods and you are listening to Rock Escultura. Is that right? Yeah, that's, that's, that's yeah. amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jason. Thank you very much. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yes, you too. Bye-bye. <laughs> Take care.